Well, I'm joined now by Ralph Lee, Head of Factual Programmes at Channel 4, by Owen Jones, a columnist at The Independent, and Fraser Nelson, the editor of The Spectator magazine. Ralph Lee, first of all, can we just nail uh, the issue of the title? Um, were the participants told that the title of the show was going to be The Benefit Street? Um, they weren't told that, but they weren't told something else either. So what I would say is the producers have been working with the... Uh, uh, the, the, the residents of James Turner Street for nearly two years now. It's been a consultation with them uh, long before we started filming. We were there filming for a year and they were very clear and transparent with everyone on the street about what the nature of the programme was, why they were there and what the nature of the end product was. And so they were clear so that they, we were there. So they were told it was going to be about benefits primarily. They were clear that they were there because this is a part of Britain that is uh, uh, heavily reliant on benefits and that James Turner Street sits within Winston Green which has you know, a long-term problem with unemployment and therefore the, the thrust of the programme is what's life like in Britain in a year where benefits are being cut uh, by the government over a long period of time for a community, and just, let me just come to the final point, for a community that has, in spite of the hardship that it goes through, mm -hmm. a very strong sense of community, uh, well, a very strong sense of neighbourhood, and about that the was part of why that street was chosen. What about the criticism that, that, that you don't show anyone who actually works on the street, and yet there are people who do work on the street? Well, it's, it's, it's true to say that the majority of the people uh, 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 on James Turner Street do uh, claim benefits and that's what the program says and that's what we're yeah. clear and transparent with the members of the street. But there. why didn't you people tell could, them, did you know it was going to be called Benefit Street? I mean why didn't you no, call... No, not, not necessarily. A lot when, of, a lot of documentaries. Uh, it was decided quite late in the day that that would be the final title and that's quite common for documentaries. When? Was it really just before transmission? Uh, at the point where we go to press with the Radio Times and that, that kind of thing. That was when it was decided. Which was a couple of um, weeks before. What and do you think point, about the we're attitude? We're also what do transparent you... with the contributors. Do you, so the contributors knew it was going to be called Benefit Street before it transmitted? Yes, yeah. Tell me, are you comfortable with the idea of poverty porn? As an idea. I'm, I'm deeply uncomfortable with that phrase. I think it's uh, it's inaccurate and it's patronising towards the people who take part in these programmes and to uh, open up their lives to it. And it's mm -hmm. it's quite offensive to the people who make them and make them, I think, mm -hmm. with diligence and professional and with integrity. So it's a phrase that I, I, I actually resent quite heavily. Or why have you got such a problem with it? I don't think this is a kind of honest portrayal of life in Britain. I think it's more the medieval stocks updated for a modern format. What we've seen, and it's not just the widening out from Channel 4, actually, what we have in this so-called debate about the welfare state is a relentless, almost obsessive hunting down of the most extreme, dysfunctional, unrepresentative people But wait, wait, they're adults, benefits. they're adults. Isn't and that carry to be patronising? No, I mean, no it isn't patronising. I'll part. tell you why it's not patronising, Kirsty. Because we have a situation now where, according to the polls, on average, Britons think 27% of social security is lost through fraud. It's 0.7%. People think that the majority of... Uh, the welfare state goes on unemployed people. It doesn't. It goes on pensioners who've paid in all their lives. And it's to do with these sorts of sensationalist programmes. It's not just them. The BBC themselves are also responsible for this. People, yeah, I mean, the BBC people like us, a programme called The Scheme. Pe people, like lots us, of different programs. people like us, for example, which was a BBC Three programme which did the same to Hap Herpy in Manchester. This programme, but, by the way, misportrayed someone on a housing well, benefit and had to apologise for But hang on. The programme didn't put words in people's mouths. No, what it does, this is what these programmes do, all of them, like people like us, like Skints, which you also did, is they hunt down these unrepresentative examples, they portray them in the most negative way, and then, I mean, we've got on social media, obviously, a response to that, people calling for them and well, people on benefit to, Ralph, to be Ralph. gassed, hanged, shot. Owen's must be got very a selective proud of that. memory of the documentary canon here, so he's selecting Skint and uh, Benefit Street and making them representative of a whole that they don't represent, so he's forgetting a series like How to Get a Council House, which is a series that we made last year, that no-one accused of being so-called poverty porn. It was a very insightful look at the process that on both sides uh, of people who are reliant on social housing and that's a series that we're going back to we're looking again at that subject this year so we look at benefits in more than more ways what is than the, the value what is the value uh, of this, this series it opens a window on the part of our welfare state and part of our country and if, the, if what we see is shocking mm. then the question is shouldn't we be changing this system we're very good in britain at ignoring extreme poverty at pretending this stuff doesn't happen and every time somebody shows it saying oh isn't this terrible you're gawping at these people now i don't think this, this is well, a freak show. This actually betrays them, I think, in quite a positive light. A lot of them, the characters there, are ones I personally warmed to. And I think the villain of the piece isn't the people, the villain is the system that makes them lead lives in the way they What about do. the criticism that it's often young, uh, you know, middle class producers that uh, go in uh, and kind of do a kind of does he take sugar? 
on areas like this and then retreat again and don't actually understand the lives of those people. Well, the cameras just ruled and the people spoke in their own way. And, and I've actually had the advantage of seeing the second episode, mm -hmm. which, for example, portrays Romanian immigrants in an incredibly positive, sensitive light, probably the most positive portrayal you will see this year. Mm -hmm. So I think when people see the whole series, they will realise this is not an attempt to put people in the stocks, as Owen says. It's saying, look, this is part of our country, these are our people, and this is what we're no, doing. Look, this is what the media has to be held accountable for, as I've said. Not only the fact that people's perceptions of the welfare state is so distorted, and everyone needs to look at those figures as factual producers and look at them and think, how on earth have we ended up where the public is so misinformed? And that means addressing the balance. That means far more programmes looking at the millions of low-paid workers who are dependent on in-work benefits being cut by the, by the government, whose real wages are falling but and should, struggling, but that, all but, too but that wasn't a programme, this isn't a programme about that. And it, uh, what, are yes, you absolutely. Really saying, and those are, are the really people who the, depend on the welfare state. No, but are you really saying see. that the people on James Turner Street shouldn't have their voice? No, I'm saying that it should be balanced. This is the point about these television programmes. You balance them out. Most working age people dependent on benefits are people who are in work. And that's because we're subsidising yeah. bosses who are charging, who are paying poverty wages. It's the same. Another part of the welfare debate, which is not shown in TV, is the fact housing benefit is lining the pockets of these private landlords. Most new claimants of housing benefit are in work because they can't you, afford. But that reality is not shown Ralph by Lee, Channel 4 or the BBC. You, does it give you pause to think that actually some of the reactions from people who have taken part in the programme have been very negative? Yeah, I think we take our responsibility to contributors and to the people who take part in all our programmes very, very seriously. And as a result, the, the producers who've worked with them over such a long period of time are still there on James Turner Street and trying to help them and deal with the issues and the consequences so, of, being, so, of having that degree so why of attention do you, Why do you think people are so unhappy? Oh, I think benefits is obviously touched a nerve as an issue. It's obviously a, a, an issue of major concern. Can I ask you a direct question? When yes. you see on social media, as a response to your programme, you kept flashing up the hashtag Benefit Street, the most sensationalist moments of that documentary, and you saw people calling for those people to be gassed, hanged and shot, mm. and people on benefits to go through that as well. Did you look at that and think, hmm, hang on a minute, maybe we could have been a bit more balanced here and not been quite I so think sensationalist? I think when I see that, I find that deeply distasteful. Do you and I, take I, any responsibility I, for that whatsoever? I, I, I do, People but I think... the same about Channel 4 presenters, though, didn't they? And what were but, some but Labour on, actors? Let, 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 Rafa, you do think, take responsibility. I don't think you should judge the programme by the reaction to the programme, and I don't think you should mm. judge the reaction to the programme by the extreme reaction to the programme, represented figures? by a handful of very intemperate tweets. Do you, I'm going to ask you this as well, as someone who's there wanting to show the reality of modern Britain. Do you look at the fact that people on average think 27% of welfare states lost affordance, you'll see 0.7% and think, hang on a minute, as a documentary maker or someone making these documentaries, I'm one, I need to do something to educate people. That is my responsibility. I think you're distorting the argument there, Owen, because this Why? is not a programme about benefits for No, I'm talking know, about generally, I'm talking about your doesn't. output. What well, responsibility do you have as someone informing the public? Do you want to take on those myths? Isn't that what the media is about? Challenging myths, oh, showing people the truth. And also as, exposing real yeah. problems, which this is doing. I mean, in context and they, in proportion to what If you ask me, there is nowhere near enough outrage in this country in what we're doing to the poorest people in our society. Mm. This so is do shocking. you think it will make a difference to the political debate? Absolutely. I do think that the more people realise how broke the system is and what life is like for people inside that system, the more, I think, support there will be for attempts to try to reform it and try to save and the people who are caught in this trap. And who does a lot of the hot? The people at the top, has Thank ever. you very much indeed.